Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to be doing a prep video. A new prep, because I need to update my old prep. <laughs> so, in this video, I'm going to be doing a prep video because I am actually putting these on my nails and we are leaving these ones on. Yes, you guys, I am doing my nails and leaving them on this time. These are the Enel Couture. Uh, beige eternal beige coffin nails and ha I have already applied them using my non-dominant hand on my dominant hand so we will be doing this hand so here we go the first thing I always do is I push back my cuticles clean up under the nails you know if you have any dirt or anything first things first push those cuticles back so I've got my little magic wand and cuticle cleaner pusher. So you're going to push those puppies back just like that. Be very gentle. Don't do this too harsh. You can even take the little scraper and scrape all the dead cuticle off. As you can see, it is coming off. Okay. All that dead skin okay so once I get that done then I usually take my e-file and then here I go around my side wall and my cuticle area and we're gonna clean that area up a little very gentle nothing too harsh Now what I'll do is take my buffing block and I'm going to go ahead and buff the surface shine off the nails. And I'm just going to buff those nails. You can do this with any file as well, but I don't really need to. I'm just going to lightly buff the surface. Just like that. Do that with all of your nails. You can clean up the dust. Now I do already have my nails, um, I do already have my nails ready. We are also going to be putting the nails on in this video. This time I'm actually going to be using my Orly Gel FX Builder Gel in a bottle. And I'm using this, um, grip base. It's called 8, I think it's 8 grip base. It's a 14 ml size. I think I found this on eBay a long time ago but it's a very thick gel so it's kind of like a builder gel in a bottle you could probably even use this to adhere these nails but I'm not doing that I'm just gonna use it as a base and then we are using my Eno Couture Prime and Prep my little flashy light is over here on the side and take your dehydrator and you're gonna dehydrate the entire nail plate it's okay if the dehydrator gets on your skin. This is just like isopropyl alcohol and acetone. You can actually even make your own dehydrator and I have a video on that. You can mix 50% isopropyl alcohol and 50% acetone and that will make a nice dehydrator if you can't afford one. Just a little tip. Okay, and now I'm gonna take my Eno Couture Primer and with this I always put two coats so I'm going to go in with my first coat from cuticle to free edge covering the entire nail plate don't get the stuff on your skin this will become tacky when it dries and it doesn't take very long to dry okay I'm going to do it one more time I like extra adhesion this and you'll also know the difference between a dehydrator and a primer 
a dehydrator is going to dehydrate right off the nail plate and the primer is going to leave a sticky kind of shiny residue and that's how you can tell the difference if like say your bottle isn't labeled or or you forget or you know but you see how it's leaving them nice and shiny that's what a primer is going to do or a prep prep prime it's a bonder too guys a lot of a lot of people will say well I need don't I need to bond the nail well bonding is priming you're priming it you're bonding it so there's another tip a lot of people ask me that okay now let's go ahead and go in with our base coat this is like a rubber base it's very thick very thick in consistency and I love how it comes with those tiny little brushes the reason I like these little brushes so so much is because they're they're small and you can get right in to the the small little areas without getting it all over the place you know a small brush like this is really nice so I wiped my brush I don't need a whole lot of base and what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to scrub the base into my nail plate Okay, from cuticle to free edge. So the base is going to protect your natural nail and it's also going to give you adhesion for what you're putting on the nail such as poly gel, regular gel, acrylic, dip powder, whatever. It's just going to keep that nail protected and I know a lot of people have those um, products that say that it has a base already in it I don't trust it I use a base no matter what okay so after you've applied your base cure that for 30 seconds in your LED UV light all right they are fully cured now I'm gonna take my primer again from Enel Couture and I'm going to prime right here by the cuticle where those nails are going to touch my my actual nail. You're going to prime that. Make it tacky in there. You can actually use an e-file if you'd like. That'll work. You can see it start to break down. You're going to do that with all the nails. All right, once the nails are prepped, now it's time to apply them. I'm going to grab my Orly Builder in a Bottle. Now this one has a small brush also. So I really like that. I'm going to wipe the brush on one side, leaving the gel on the other. And I'm going to drag it down. And I'm going to go from side to side. Now this is where you want to make sure you have enough gel and not too much gel. Okay, so you're going to flip it. Go at like a 45 degree angle. Let me move that out of the way. into your cuticle you're going to press 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 until you see it get your free edge once it gets to the free edge go ahead and cure that and usually after a second you can let go and finish curing and there we have one nail on take your nail take your builder gel Sweep it down. May need a little bit more. Sweep that down side to side. Okay, flip it. Go into the cuticle. Press down to get to your free edge. And cure it. And you can let go all right so do it again take your gel apply your gel I go from side to side 
Okay, flip it over from your cuticle all the way to your free edge and cure. Okay, here we go again. Drop the gel down in there. Go from side to side. Flip it. Press, press, press. So you get to your free edge. And let me pull that up. Just do that one more time. I don't want to get bubbles. Cure. All right. One more. Squeeze the gel in there, side to side with it, flip it. Now, all the way to the free edge and cure. Now guys, I'm still not a pro at this. I still get bubbles and I still get places where they lift. I am not a professional. All right. Okay, now, once you have them on, I'm going to go ahead and place them into my um, lamp for 60 seconds and do a full cure. Okay, once I got a full cure, I usually go ahead now, take my file, my um, hand file, and go ahead and get those knobs off at the top. Those things aggravate me, so i got to get them off right away. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and file. These are actually pretty nice. I don't have a whole lot of filing to do. And then I'm actually just going to take my buffer this time. Now, normally I'll grab my e-file and I'll go around my side walls and my cuticle and then I'll buff the shine. But in this case, I'm just going to use my buffer at the moment, and I'm just going to buff the shine off of these nails. So I'm going to buff the surface shine off of these. I'll go ahead and do that, and I'll come back. All right. After the shine is off of my nails, I just take a brush and just go ahead and brush all that off. And then I'm ready for a design. So we're going to do that in the next video. But I just wanted to show you guys how I apply the Eno Couture um, Eternal Beige tips. I have not worn these yet. This is my first time. I really like them. Here is everything that I used in the video besides my little flashy light. And I will put a link for this little stand down below. Um, I did order his new little flashy light. Uh, I did order Eno Couture's new flash flashlight. He's got a cute little... Um, little bear flashy light it is on the way <laughs> try to my channel if you're new don't forget to click the notification bell so you know so you won't miss out on any of my videos also please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and share with a friend share with a family member and i will see you guys in my next one i hope you all have a wonderful day and a blessed day bye